there was heavy rain at the farm today and this affected us so much so i am showing you this pen here this is our first pen you see how the roof overlaps it is really really great and it helps um it helps the farm a whole lot it helps um, prevent rain getting into the pen however this is our second pen the roof doesn't overlap as such and this um, affected us adversely today. So in this video today, I'm just going to show you how this heavy rain pour affected us at the farm. And you also try not to make such mistake. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Modupe. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, so let's just see what my birds look like and how this heavy rain affected my layers poultry farm okay so you see that the birds are wet the floor are also wet everywhere in the farm is actually just wet even my staff have to tread carefully so they don't sleep this is how much the rain um affected us today of course it's the raining season in nigeria right now this is um june of 2024 and we also did these coverings around the around the pen so that rain doesn't get in but we hadn't done the one at the beginning of the pen at the entrance of the pen so and that was where the direction of the rain was coming from on this particular rainy day you see this rain you are not sure where it's the direction is going to come from on any day it's going to rain so that's the direction it came from that day and it affected us so much so let's just get to the um, beginning of the pen, the entrance of the pen, to see how much um, this um, affected us. So of course, at the, towards the end of this pen, this is the first line, the rain didn't get there. So the birds in that um, row, they were all fine. But you see all the floor, you see the floor here, and all the feeders were all soaked in water. All the birds were all wet, as you can see from this video. Of course, the eggs too, they go wet. Just look at how drenched my birds are. So the rain got into the feeders and they have to take all the feeds away, all the wet feed. Because yes, it is not good for the birds. They cannot eat um, wet feed. It's going to affect their production. It's going to affect their health. So this is, you see the feed in this bowl? This one is wasted. The water, the rain has affected it. So you see that this feeder is empty and that's because they have taken the feed out of the feeder. You see how wet the birds are? They are so drenched. And I felt so much pity for them, but there was really nothing I could do at this point. But of course, yeah, one of the things we're going to do is that we're going to get coverings to this side of the pen so that the rain doesn't affect us like this again yes that's what we're going to do so yeah we're just going to look through and all that again if you have not subscribed to my channel at this point what are you waiting for if you're interested in layers poultry farming then my videos are things are videos you should always look forward to watching so let's get back to the videos now this is a three row pen i'm sure you must have seen previous videos about um constructing this pen and how much it cost us to stock it I will have the link to the videos up on the screen here so you can also check them out if you're interested in building your own layers poultry pen and how much it might likely cost you so anyway let's still get back to um taking the wet feed out of the feeders we have to always also try to push the birds off so that they don't try to eat from the feed from the wet feed because again it's not good for them it's not good for their system might lead to them having afluxins and that's also another issue on its own considering that we've just um, recently dealt with lice issue at the farm so we kept um, taking all this um, wet feed out you see that this feeder is empty we also have to pat the feeders dry so that when we put um, fresh feed in the feeders it won't also get wet so this is just like um, a loss to me because I've lost so much feed today anyways if you're looking to start a layers poultry farm and you're not um, sure how to go about it, please click on the link in my in this in the description box. It will take you to how you can book a consultation session with me. So back to this bird again. 
um i would also have to go to the second pen because yeah the rain affected both pens so the roof in this particular three row pen was actually such um it wasn't done rightly in all honesty it wasn't done rightly the uh, overlapping wasn't so great and this affected the middle pen the middle row the most yeah so you see the feed we took from the middle row it was it's more like water yeah that's just it it's been so mixed with water and all that so in this end here i've gotten to the first pen and you see how much water we had to deal with here to so the feed also wasted there's really so nothing we can do and it was so it adversely had affected this pen more not so yeah the pen the water didn't come, the rain didn't come from the top like it happened in the other pen but from the sides because yeah the coverings in this pen hasn't been done so it affected the pen seriously so we lost so much so much um feed here you see how wet the birds are also so another reason this um rain um affected me and why i'm talking about it so much is that um there's a particular quantity of feed the birds should eat every day like um um in my in my farm we feed them with about 24 bags of feed every day from everything we have lost so far will probably be about um let's say about three bags of feed at this in this side here in this video here i'm checking the feed i saw that it was damp so i told my attendant to take them um to take the feed away of course they felt so oh, it wasn't so wet i just told them please take it away i don't want my birds to feed on them i don't want any issue whatsoever for my birds so we took them out so like i said we we lost about three bags of feed so yeah if we'll so you can imagine if i'm using 712 bags every month and now i have to use 715 because of what this rain has done to me sad right anyway that's about it for today thank you for watching i hope you've learned something and if you have not subscribed at this point please subscribe please like please share please comment how do you handle rain issue at your own farm let me know and let's all learn together bye